Post's log, star date, uh, ah, fucking July. My companion point squid has not returned to the show after walking out last episode, leaving me to complete our mission alone. But I don't need point squid or his negativity. My new friends are my sponsors and they're paying me for the privilege. Yes, things are better now, healthier. And everyone else can be healthier too if they just take real health's bovine fecal supplements every single day. Yes. Things are better. Welcome to Normal Video Game Review Show. The show where we refuse to pay money for games and call it a gimmick so that we don't feel guilty. Tonight, we're playing Star Trek Online, the best way to meet sexy green alien babes outside of Comic-Con. But what is Star Trek Online? Well, it's Star Trek, but you play it online. Here's an expert saying the same thing, but in more words. Star Trek Online is what happens when an MMO and Star Trek get mashed together in a teleporter. On one hand you've got the RPG elements of the World of Warcraft sort of thing, and the other you're experiencing an episode of Next Gen or DS9. It feels like you're in the show, playing out a story from your ship's bridge. You've got space battles, you've got a, a, a bridge crew, you've got a Klingon, you've got a Borg, you've got wormholes, it's all sorts of science and stuff. You're just supposed to say the basics, not review the show. That's my thing. That's that's like my the whole purpose, why I'm here. Hello? Oh shit. Um maybe let's talk about something else. <laughs> Star Trek Online really does feel like you're playing out your own series of the show, except instead of Kirk, Picard or Janeway, in my case we've got bug-eyed Lieutenant Rumbio over here awkwardly piloting the USS Corona in big slow circles around the Borg. This is definitely a game you have to play for a while to get anywhere more interesting. Uh, while the tutorial levels let you think you've got this nifty little ship that can even take on Borg Cube. The moment you get out into the real world, you realize just how cool everyone else's ships are compared to yours. I don't even know what this is, but I want it. Yes, this is one of those MMOs. I've been playing barely a few hours and already I can feel the addiction setting in. Everywhere I look, I see an excuse to ditch what I'm doing and return to my computer. Day job? Sorry, I'm sick today. Friends want to hang out? Ooh, can't. Got other plans. Sex? Whoops, can't get it up. Guess I'll just go then. Oh. Star Trek Online isn't the most fast-paced or inventive of MMOs when it comes to gameplay, but for any nerd who loves the shows, it's a lot of bloody fun. Who wouldn't want to captain their own iconic vessel, answering distress calls and going on away missions? As long as you don't mind the hot bar spamming mechanics, you'll feel right at home exploring this, this vibrant galaxy. Hang on. Caption, incoming vessel. Gasp, red alert, on screen. Captain, you forgot to include me in the script for this week's episode. Ah, suck, Bubba, I should have known. I add value, you bastard. I'm just as important as you or the squid or the bloody sponsors. Damn it, Sock Puppet, not you too. You leave our sponsors alone, we need them to live. Lieutenant, fire the torpedoes. Yes, sir. Ah, you did! Ha, 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 ha. Another episode successfully completed thanks to good writing, fast torpedoes, and real health's bovine fecal supplements. The best fecal supplements on the market. That's a scientific fact, Lieutenant. But don't, don't look it up. I think that's enough for one day. Lieutenant, get us out of here. 
I've got to get to more Star Trek Online if I'm gonna find me a hot green alien online girlfriend to replace my neglected personal relationships. Engage.